hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we are going to explore like what are all the tools available in this power bi desktop so we are going to explore the power bi desktop interface and uh, before that like uh, if anyone doesn't know about this power bi desktop like it's nothing but like a data visualization software like uh, it is used for a similar purpose like uh, what the powerpoint like presentation excel so it's similar to like those presentations from the excels so here like we need we need to import the data from the excel and we need to visualize our data based on the charts or uh, based on the table so we can also uh, create a slicers like uh, like a matrix table which we will use in the excel right so we can create everything in this power bi so uh, this is going to be my first video based on this power bi so in this video we are going to see the overview like uh, what are like this about this entire interface like uh, what are all the tools available in this uh, power bi okay let's get started like when you open this power bi desktop you can see like options here like uh, here like when you logged in like i am i doesn't logged in my id here if you logged in you will get some tutorial videos like how to get uh, how to do your reports how to convert it as a dashboard and uh, what are all the and how to like how to import the data from the excel you will get some uh, like uh, tutorial videos here itself like default from the microsoft so and also you can get like your uh, previous report like which you have done before okay you can also get here so i'm just going to close this so this is the interface like when you open the power bi this will be the open interface like you got when you open this power bi okay so in this like uh, in the first page itself you can be able to see like we need to add data for our report okay as you can see so this dotted line right as you can see this dotted line this will be our page okay so here we can create n number of visualization and we can like we can import in any number of like many number of uh, data from excel or, or else you can also create your blank table here you can also customize your own column own rows okay so here we are going to do visualization so at first we don't have any data so it is uh, telling us to uh, like import our uh, data for our report okay so here at first we need to import the data so what are all the ways for importing the data as you can see here so this is not only the four ways that we can import data there are over many many ways to import the data either from the like excel is a part of like n number of data which can be imported okay at first we will have the import data from excel if you have an excel sheet with the with loaded with the data you can also import that by clicking here you can also click the folder and you can just open it i am not going to open it because this is a overview session i am going to explain like what are all the tools available in this power bi and then like uh, day by day we can like we can going we can go and analyze like how to convert this data into the report okay i'm just showing like how you can import this data you can also import the data from the excel and uh, another option is like you can import the data from the sql server and then you can like paste data into a blank table or else like uh, if you don't have any excel data you are just going to create a visualization visualization based on your own data you can directly click on this and then a pop up window like a blank excel sheet yeah this this like this page one page two and this uh, like um, this ribbon menu is like somewhat similar similar with the excel so so like i think you guys have experienced the excel means it will be very very easy for you guys okay so if you play, press on this paste data into a blank table like like i'll show you how to use this if you click this you can see here like it is created as a fresh excel sheet so it it will be like a common excel sheet like you can create columns and you can create rows here or else like you can add a uh, values for here like uh, india us and then like japan china you can add your data like here and also you can double click this column and you can also rename this as country okay if you don't have any excel sheet you can directly or else 
like if you have data in your excel like instead of importing that you can also copy that and you can press control d here so that you can be able to or else you can pay, like click on the paste option here by right clicking it so it will be pasted here okay so then after pasting your data you can directly click on load okay okay now i'm going to cancel it because i don't want to load any data in this because we are going to see the overview of this session and then try a sample data set because like microsoft will have some sample data sets for the new users who are going to use power bi so if you want to use some time sample data you can also click this and you can like import any sample data which has been provided by the microsoft and you can also like uh, you can also use these for your reports okay just for the practice purpose okay and like you can also see here get data from another source like if you click here you can see like the entire data where you can you guys can able to enter okay you can like uh, you can also import the data from the sharepoint or like a python script okay so autodesk like there are over various number of data like where you can also import those data okay like if you have like if you need to search something like you can also go here and you can like if i need to import my data on uh, oracle okay you can see here the oracle database is available so you can also import the data from here so then or else if you need to if you need to import the data based like uh, if you need to import from the excel book like you can click on the file here you can see the excel workbook and what are all the data files which are relevant to the file okay and for the database like the sql is a, is a commonly known as it is kind of database right and um, so you can also import those data so like here and you can also like add uh, this is it's a kind of filter like where you can see like has your means like you can see what are all the data for source we can get from the data okay and the online services and others like like you can practice with your own and then you can be able to see what are all the options available here so this is how you guys can import the data so the same the same interface will be appeared on the ribbon menu as you can see you can get data from the excel book or something and then you can directly select this excel workbook or else you can also select here like this is nothing but like one leg -like data hub which has been creating by the like it is on the like uh, this entire power bi is on the like uh, it is not yet completed stage because it is on like uh, they are creating more and more updates on this power bi so these are the microsoft tools like which we can also import those data okay and this sql server like you can see before like uh, below itself and you can enter your data like you can see here like blank table and data uh, data was it is also like a sql template sql source server you can also import the data from the data was and then the recent sources like recent sources in which you have imported those data okay so this is all about this data menu bar and then if you go for the queries you will see the two options here this is nothing but the transform data transform data is nothing but like if you have imported a table and if you need to add some additional column for that particular table you can't add here okay for that you need to click on this transform data it will be directly redirected to uh, redirected you to the power query editor power query editor is nothing but because you can see here power query editor like it, it is used to like uh, change the data like if you have like a simple single column like with the value of uh, 2 comma 4 if you need to split that column into two okay you can also use conditional column for that as we like we have done before in excel itself like right you have the experience like uh, creating a conditional column custom column based on the formulas okay so those things that you can do in this transform data so we will see deeper on this entire interface as a single single video i'll try to put more videos based on this power bi okay so this is how you can use this transform data and after importing data we will see what are all the tools available inside this transform data option okay so right now we can't be able to see because don't we don't have any data like we are not imported any data from the excel okay or else like it's not about only excel you can also transform the data which we have imported from the any kind of server okay or also you can, if you create any bank table you can also transform that by using this okay and this is nothing but the refresh table okay if you have imported a data from the excel 
okay and then after importing the data almost you have completed your entire visualization by using some bar charts or line chart or pie chart anything okay like after that if you are willing to change some data in this imported table like better you can change the excel sheet itself you can directly go for the excel sheet you can directly change that value and after saving that excel sheet if you click on this refresh button the value which which you guys have changed in the excel sheet it will be directly changed in this power bi table also okay so this is why we will use this refresh table okay this will be used to refresh the table which we have imported from the excel sheet if the some if some data which has been changed on the excel sheet whether it is not uh, like a sync to this report you can directly click on this refresh button okay and then it's nothing but the new visual new visual is nothing but you can see here like various kind of visuals we'll come to this part later okay and then the normal text box like uh, text box like uh, we will use text box in uh, powerpoint and excel right so the basic text box tool which we have used for the normal microsoft tools okay so this is the same purpose for this text box also and you can see the more visuals here so this will be the visuals if you need more visuals you can also click here and you can see on the import let's see this as a few later okay and then new measure new measure is nothing but you like if you need to create some creative column or if you need to create some another measure for your column you can directly click on this new measure option like this entire power bi is consist of like a dax measure dax measure is nothing but a code like it is whether it is like a similar to the c c plus plus like which we have known as a programming like it's like it is not like up to the level of python or c c plus plus it is like it is a basic level of programming like everyone can be able to put those um, conditions or programs okay so we will see deeper about this new measure and quick measure in the upcoming videos okay so next i think i have almost completed this home menu bar when we go for the insert as you can see some of the key points like which we have seen the home has been repetitive right like you can see in this insert like new visual more visual as you can see in this insert itself okay okay and then like text box and buttons shape image okay like uh, these are all the important keys like you if you guys do know about these more power apps like power automate preview paginated report decomposition tree you can also go on by your own like clicking this and you can also import your data like this so i'm just exploring the basic level of power bi like like if you are using a power bi like what are all the data and what are all the tools that you have to know so i'm going to explain those things okay so the next one is about modeling as you can see like we have, we have already seen this new measure quick measure new column and the new table if you need to create a new table by writing your own dax expression you can also create your new table okay and then a parameter like language so these things i think it, this will never play a big role on your power bi report so we just skip this part from this video and then we can continue with this upcoming vision like if you need to use new parameter on our upcoming video i'll try to put, explain you everything like what is this new parameter and how it's going to work okay and then let's go for the view view is nothing but it's like a themes like in power in uh, like a powerpoint presentation we like we can be able to say change the design right like the color of the page like uh, if you click this you can see the entire page has been turned into like it's nothing but a theme which we are going to set for the for our report okay so this is going to be the themes here and then the page view page view is nothing but like fit to page if you click on fit to page the like it will be able to fit according to the page which you are seeing okay and then fit to width means you can see all, like based on the width your page has been uh, expanded and actual size means this will be the actual size you can also press control key and uh, like a scroll button you see scroll button you can also zoom in and zoom out this report okay and then mobile layout like mobile layout is nothing but uh, yeah i'll show you what is mobile layout by after uh, after explaining all those things and the uh, grid lines snap to grid lock objects like these tools are previously like you guys have been experienced in excel itself so i don't want to explain those things to you okay so bookmarks if you click on this bookmarks you can see here there will be bookmark pop up window which has been opened on the right corner 
like if you need to add some bookmark here you can also add a bookmark like um, we will add some like a uh, notes for our excel part right excel like excel single table like we will be able to add some bookmark right so that's called as a bookmark section if you have multiple pages you can also add a bookmark here okay if i close this it will be automatically moved and then selection selection is nothing but if you have created various charts here like uh, you have created a bar chart here and you have created text box here and you have created any slicers here like all the data will be visible here whether you need to hide this or whether you need to show this like you can also like uh, like wait, i'll show you how this works like uh, i'll show i'll tell about this selection like later on this video okay and then sync slicer i will tell you like how this works okay so the next one is like sync slicer is based on like you guys know about slicer right like we will use on the excel like if you guys don't know about the slicer i will try like i'll explain this video itself okay sync slicer is nothing but you have created a slicer on this page one okay and you have created another page two here okay if you have created another data like which you have to sync from the first page to the second page the, this sync slicer will option will be turned on if you turn down here if you have any slicers it will visible here because we don't have any slicers here so it is showing as a empty slicers okay so we just close it like we will see later on how this sync slicer will work and uh, optimize is nothing but whether we can pause our visuals or uh, refresh like we have seen before itself okay and then the refresh visuals is nothing but like you can see in the home itself if you click on this refresh button like if you have over thousands or two thousands of rows in your table if you click on this refresh button it will take more time to refresh all those data okay if you need to like refresh a particular visual you can select that visual and you can directly go for the refresh visual so only that particular visual will be refreshed so in that visual like you have ordered like added the country name under like a revenue of the country if you refresh this particular visual those two data only got refreshed okay so then the next one is apply all slicers button all slices is button is nothing but if you have four to five slices like if you need to select all for like and like the individual slices if you need to click all 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 for separate slicer you can add this button okay if you have this like uh, yeah if you have this button here if you click on this button okay if you click on this button every slicer will be selected as all slices okay like those filters will be selected as all so i'll teach you like uh, after importing this data i will tell you like how these tools are working okay so let's delete the page two okay, this is how you can able to create n number of pages and if you double click this you can also rename this page okay and then this is nothing but a desktop layout view and this is mobile layout view if you are going to create a report for your mobile view you can directly click on this as you can see the mobile layout option turns on but we will see later like how to import any visualization into this mobile view okay at first let's go for the desktop layout view and we'll try to add some more feature here okay at first like we can see when we go for the insert as you can see shapes here okay shapes is nothing but we can create like uh, in the in the powerpoint also we will be able to create some shapes right so the similar tool will be used here also if i need to create a rounded rectangle you can see here it is created so if you need to drag this if you click on the center you can able to drag but if you click somewhere else if you need to drag like this if some like uh, for sometimes it won't work by dragging this point you can also hold on this button and you can also drag like this okay if you move like this you can be able to see this uh, like a center horizontal position and vertical position okay it will be very easy for you to align the box like based on those page specifications okay so then after importing this shape button you can able to see the format tools here like instead if you have any data you will be able to see the filter options but we don't have any data so i'm just close this filter data you can see here there are over various tools like shape rotation style action okay 
so this data is nothing but if you need if you have guys have added any data you will be able to see the table name and like if you drop down the table name you will get you guys can be able to see the column name okay so this will be visible only if you have imported any data okay so if you click on this like if you click on somewhere else you can see the visualization tab only okay and then you can also edit the page information like uh, page background and uh, like a page size whether you need six six into this and the other letter or a custom you can add by your own okay so the next one is page information whether you need to rename this page okay and the next one is like a wallpaper if you need to add any wallpaper by your picture you can also browse here and the transparency of those wallpaper and if you need to add any filter pane you can also click this and whether you need to add input header and search box for your inter like a filter plane you can also go for that and any filter cards if cards if you need to add you can also click here okay like i think uh, like this will be experience only if you guys have used this tool like uh, by seeing this video you can't be able to like you will be able to gain some knowledge from this video but you have to follow all these things like you have to work on this so then only you can be able to get some uh, so because this power bi has various number of tools okay like you can see in this page itself we have got like you can see here n number of data so you have to work on this so that only you can be able to experience all these tools okay let's close this okay like if you click on this shape you can see here the format option is changed for the shape like you can see the shape here like the formatting the shape and you can go for the general format also okay at first let's check let's check what are the tools available in this shape format you can see the shape whether it is a rounded rectangle or else you can also change like a shape here itself like if you need if some shapes are not available here you can also select this and go for the shape and you can also see like various shapes here okay if we need to create like a heart shape here you can also create a heart okay and then rotation rotation is nothing but like basic rotation we will use in the powerpoint right if you need to rotate this part as you increase this value you can see it is rotated okay and then the shape if you need to rotate the shape you can also rotate okay or else the, only the text which we have entered in this shape okay you can also rotate that shape so let's close this the next one is style style is nothing but the color of the shape you can also change the color i'm going to give a pink color for this like a dark pink and you can also adjust the transparency of those colors and as you can see when we reduce this transparency you can see the blue border here if you don't want this border you can also turn off the border or else if you need a border with the color you can also change the border color as a dark purple okay and you can adjust the width of the border and you can also adjust the transparency of the border okay so the next one is the text if you need to add any text inside this shape you can also directly click here or else you can directly double click here and you can start like uh, Okay, if you need to add text here, you need to turn on this. Okay, you need to turn on this, and you can type your text here, like uh, Power BI. Okay, so this is how you can type text here by turning on this, and then you can also adjust the font of those so text which you have entered, and you can also increase the size of the text and whether you can make it as a bold italic underlined okay like we have seen these basic things in power bi so like in powerpoint and excel and you can change the font color whether you need that font the black color you can also change that okay so let's change this into the capital p so then if you need this alignment like uh, left alignment right alignment center alignment and the vertical alignment like top middle and bottom you can also change that and if you need some shadows feature for this shape you can also add a shadow and you can also adjust this uh, shadow transparency okay and then any blur if you need any kind of blur view here you can also add here and the position whether on the bottom right or bottom left for the shadows 
like if you click on the top left you can see the shadows on the top left okay and then if you need to glow your shape you can turn on this glow and you can also create a color for those glows okay and for that go glow we need to assign the transparency and bulge blur okay so these are all the tools available for this shape like if you have like opened all these things like you can see this will definitely collapse you so if you need to close all these you can directly click on this you can see collapse or categories if you click on this all the categories will be collapsed like all the class like all the classification like we have seen you know under rotation or under style under fill so all these will be like closed okay if you need to expand all these subheadings you can directly click expand all categories here like everything will be like a opened okay so i'm going to click collapse our categories like if you have made some changes okay if you have made some changes to this part and your undo button is not working sometimes the power bi will auto save your report so that you can't be able to do undo action here if you have to change any settings like which we have created for this shape you can directly click on this and you can click here reset all settings to default so it will be moved directly for the default okay and if you go for the general view you can see the properties properties is nothing but height and width of this particular shape like which we have imported and the position like whether you need to change the size like a like the placement which you have given for your um, shape okay like we have dropped the like we have dragged this and we have dropped on the mid plane if you need to change the direction you can also click like this as you can see the part is moving towards rightwards so i just want to be it as a center so i'm going to enter the same value as a mid value of 500 here and if you need to add any padding feature for this you can also add here okay so the next one is title like if you need to add any title for the shape like uh, i'm going to add a title for this shape as heart so as you can see the title is added here and then like font size alignment uh, like we have seen before you guys need to experience like you guys need to work on this and uh, you will be able to find many tools here okay i'm just going to turn it off i don't want a title here and you can see the effects here effects here like visual border for this text box if we click on this like if you are click at the outside you can see the border is created for this text box if you need a border you can also click on this i don't want a border so i'm going to close this you can also add a shadow for this so these are all the tools like which you have for this shape and also for the text box which we have created for the shape okay so this is where how the format tool will be used okay so the next one is like text box like I said before itself like text box is similar to the one like which you have used and like a in a PowerPoint or word we will use some text box right so it will be the same okay if I need to type like uh, hello power bi so this is gonna be my text value I need to select all these like which you are done for the normal text box we can change the font of these okay and also we can adjust the font size of this whether we can make it as a bold italic and underlined and you need as a center alignment you can also click here okay so then if you click on outside as you can see it is closed okay if we if we need to like make it as a small text box you can also drag like this okay like you can leave like that okay so if you click on the shape you can see the shape format action and the general format action which is required for this text box okay so if you click on this page you can be able to see the page information and if you need to change anything on this page it will be visible here okay if you click on this text box you can see the general properties which you guys need to know about this okay the properties like we have seen before and if you need to add any title for this text box you can also add here and the efforts header icons so these things if i if i if i need to explain all these things separately it will take around like one week to explain everything it is not even like one thing is one week is not also like enough for me to explain all these tools like you guys have to work on this so then only it is very very easy for you to understand about this power bi okay 
like if you need to drag these you can also directly click on this three dot button and you can directly move here okay or else that is like uh, if you select this and when like after selecting this you can be able to see format and data drill option here for this individual text box if you go for the format you can see align here if you need to align this box towards top it will be more top and if you need to align this as a align center if you can, you can see here it will be aligned there instead of dragging you can also use those format tools okay this format tool is only opened when you click on any text box or any shape okay so in this format you can be able to see the bring forward bring backward selection and align tool align tool like we have seen before itself and the selection is nothing but whether we need to like if we click this you can see here text box whether we need to hide this on the visual or whether we need to view on this visual because most like if you need to create a data for more than 10 tables you need to add 10 slices for that okay so we can also hide those slices so basically this is used this selection tool is used to show or hide the future okay so i'm going to close this okay and the next one on the format tool is like bring forward and send backward like you guys have been experienced on this like in powerpoint itself like if you have n number of data like let's let me take an example like uh, i'm going to drag it like this okay so if you have no space for aligning your data if i aligned like this so if you have like you will have some priorities right like if i'm going to align like this you will have some priority right i need to bring this pink like a heart shape structure towards front so you have to click this and if you go for the format and you can click your bring to front when you click on outside you can see this text box is gone backwards okay if you need to bring this text box towards forward you can also click bring to front okay or else you can also send to back Okay. so this this is how this format tool will be used and if you go for the data drill so this features will be used only like uh, if you have entered any like a table with the date features you can, you can use this drill through option like we will see deep about that uh, after importing our data okay so i'm just uh, going to like make it as a center top position like we have done before so the next one we have to see is like an image if you need to add any image you can directly click on this image and you can directly import from your file and you can also drag it okay for those image also you can able to create a format okay so that uh, like you have you guys have to work on that and you like you have like like microsoft will provide 60 days of free trial for this power bi you can also log in with your work mail id or a school mail id or any kind of organization mail id you can use the 60 days free trial on your website or else you can directly use the download the desktop version which is available on the microsoft score but i think like if if you don't have any kind of work mail id or any organizational mail id you can't be able to log in in these power bi you can't be able to publish your report and you can't be able to convert it as a dashboard okay so you have to log in for that or else you can also download this desktop version and you can also directly work like me like i have some separate desktop version for my organization so so that is for my client laptop so i can't use those laptops here so i have this is my personal laptop so i'm not using any signing id for that so without signing only i got, i'm using these things okay you can also like if you are going to like a if you are going to study or learn or practice on this power bi you can directly download a desktop or power bi and they, without signing in you can be able to use this power bi okay like i can like i will have this uh, add the link for the power bi desktop version software the description you can also check like uh, whether if you guys are interested to download those desktop app you can also download that by clicking on that link okay so the next thing like we have to see like we have seen the shapes image and the text box like next thing we have to see here is buttons like buttons is nothing but like uh, you can create a left arrow here right arrow here reset back information 
so these things are not the shape of the part so this is going to play a big role on your report okay like if we can see here like i'm going to create four pages here on the second page like i'm going to create a page two like this and i'm going to select this and i'm going to increase the size of 32 and let's drag this like this and i'm going to do the same for the page three okay and i think like page three is enough for me i'm going to delete this page four so here like if you have various number of pages like if you need to directly go for the page one it is like uh, this page one page two page three this will not visible when you are presenting your report or when you are presenting your dashboard this like this bottom ribbon like page one page two page three this will not visible on your report while you are presenting so if you need to directly forward it this page and the next page like if you need to go back for the first page it is very hard like you have to cancel the presentation view and you have to go and select the first page okay instead of that okay you can directly go for the button and then you can also select any kind of information here or else if you need to go for the page navigator you can also click this page navigator okay you can also make it as a small or you can also make it as a big one by dragging this edge okay and then you can also change the color rotation type and the style and the like a pages or if you go for the general you can also add title for this or you can also make these header icons or else in the effect also you can change the background color of this box okay so i'm not going to uh, see here for all those data because it will take more time for me so when you click on this navigator as you can see like when you like uh, when you move this cursor towards this page three it will not work if you click on this page two also it won't work okay for this report view so this is kind of report view right like we are not yet, like uh, completed our report after creating a report if you need to convert this report as a dashboard by publishing it if you have converted this as a dashboard you can directly click on this page two it will be navigated for the page two or if you have to go for the page one it will be directly navigated to the page one but if you are using this report view in this visualization view you have to press with control like you have to press the control button and then if you click this page one as you can see it is navigated to the page one okay so this is how these buttons will work and instead of this page navigator like we can delete this like i think you guys have known like you, have, you guys have came up with an idea like how this page navigation tool is working let's remove this if you need to add like um, back button for this okay like you can see here when i go near to this shape you can see here control plus click here to go back for the previous page in this report like if you have to use this button you have to press control key and you have to click here but this will not play a big role when you are sharing this report to someone if you are sharing this report to someone if they open this slide they can directly click on this button they don't want to click like, uh, hold on the control key and then we don't want to click here okay okay so if you need to use this button we have to press control key and if you press this button you can see here it will be directly navigated to the next page okay so this is how this button tool will work and you can see this apply all slices button okay if you have like like we have seen in this uh, optimize bar itself you can see here apply all slices button you can also go by here or else you can also add a button feature for this okay both are similar okay the output will be the same but you have two options to select okay so don't worry about that you can also select here or you can also select there okay like if you have n number of slicers here if you need to select slicer for all these slicer you can directly click on here the same for this button also like if you have created any buttons here okay you have to use that buttons by click by holding on the control key and you have to click here okay if you have shared this report it will not uh, like that you have, don't have to press the control button okay the next one is like uh, clear all slicer button okay 
so you, once you have applied all the slicers like you can you guys can see like every slicers like every filters will be on all okay if you need to clear all those slicers like for one slicer i have selected around 10 10 10 percent so if i need to like uh, unclick all those things it will take some time for clicking all those things you can directly click on this clear slicer button so that it will be changed okay so it is hard for me to explain like without any data so the, uh, this is an overview session i am not get ready with the data so i will prepare the data and i will teach you like how this individual tool is working on the data which we have imported from the excel okay so this is how this button tool will work you can also add an information button for that you can also add a help button or if you have any question and answer button you can also use this as a button for your report okay so this is how this button tool will work okay and uh, anything i left out in this session like uh, yeah i think i have covered everything here um yeah I've, like i said before i need to say about this mobile layout like this will be your desktop layout okay if you turn this like if you are manager or if you are or it may be your friend okay if they want to view your report if, if they are don't if they have in doesn't uh, doesn't have any sufficient time to view a report on the desktop you can also create a mobile layout for this okay you can directly click on this mobile layout and you can see what are all the visualizations that we have created in this report so we just have created our shape under text box here if you have created more number of visualization you will be able to see here okay so this will be the mobile layout as you can see the size of this mobile or else you can also directly go here and click this mobile layout option okay like i said before you can also directly click here so you can also create a different layout for the like a uh, if we have to view this report in mobile you can also create like a, a different format for your uh, mobile view okay so for that like you need to click this and you can drag this and you can like you can deploy here okay and we can also adjust the size here and here also you can see the format option is view here you can also change the size size and the size of the text or color of the shape based on the mobile size okay because this text this font size and this shape size we have created on the desktop view if you are changing those things into a mobile view it will look like a very big thing okay so you have to reduce this like you can also drag like this or else you can also add a shape here and you can also reduce the height and width of the shape by using this general properties tool and you can directly import this text box here and you can drag like this okay so this is how you can use this uh, mobile layout view here okay so after if you are not going to use this mobile layout you can directly click on this desktop view so then it will be closed okay so that's all guys and then i forgot to tell about this visualization tab so visualization tab is nothing but if you need to create any bar chat or column chat or a custard bar chat or any line chart or pie chart donut chart and like any gauge like a speedometer if you need to measure anything you can also add this gauge here and here is a card view here multi card row and the slicers table and a matrix table like matrix table yeah we will use in excel right so thus that is called as a matrix table here like uh, in excel we will use pivot table right so that is, that is translated as a matrix here so nothing to worry if you draw like if you click on this matrix table you can also be able to see here right you can like when you click on the pivot table on the excel it will ask us to select the rows columns and the values the so same also here like we need to add data here okay so don't collapse anything guys so this is just explaining the tools after getting the data i will i will put videos like how to see the individual visualization like how to import the data for those visualization okay so then if you need if you don't if you are not sufficient with these visualization you can also directly go for this and you can go for the get more visuals so for that you i think i already said like you have to sign in here so if you have like a login id you can also go for the get visuals and you can see the various type of visual which are available on the microsoft score 
so you can directly download and you can directly import here and it will be automatically imported on this visualization tab okay so this is how this visual tab visualization tab is going to work so the next one is you can see the three views here okay the first one is report view so this this will be the view which we are going to create it as a dashboard okay so the next one is table view table view is nothing but because we like as you can see the empty space here because we have not like you can see here we we haven't loaded any data here so we if we have imported the data you can see the columns rows and there which are the data we have imported you can also see here and you can also make it as a uh like uh, if you are if you are using a text for the column you can also change it as a text or if you are using for the values or percentage you can also edit everything here but if we need to add any additional column like i said before we need to go for the transform data and it will it will, it will open the power query editor so then only we will be able to create a new column or um like any conditional columns that we are going to create okay so this is the table view like um, i'll show you everything like which i have explained in this video like uh, on the next video or the later on i will show like uh, after importing the data all these tools or uh, viewing okay so the next one is like model view okay if you go for the model view you can see the property window here let's close this because this will not play a big role because we don't have imported any data for this okay you can see this model view this model view is nothing but if you have imported multiple sheets of excel like you have to import any like uh you have to create any conditional for those columns right like um if i have created the revenue or the like income of the country if i take let me take an example of that like if i need to create an like income of the country or if it may be a population of a country so if i like i have a uh, separate sheet in excel for the population of the country okay if i have to create like based on the population like i have separate sheet like imagine we have a separate sheet of uh, population and a separate sheet for the income if i need to merge these two sheets if i need to create the income based on the population we have to merge these two sheets right so we have to create a relationship between those two sheets so this will be the population so this will be the income so if you need to create like a relationship between those like we have to find out what is the common value between those two tables okay so while listening to this uh, it will be very hard for you to understand but when we go for it like when we are started importing our data and when we are starting creating a relationship it will be very very easy for you okay okay this is how this model view will work so at first if you are new for this power bi you just go on with this uh, with this like a report view and you can go for the various type of visualization you can import your data and you can create n number of visualization you can use multiple pages here and you can go on with all the tools which are all available in this power bi okay so this is how this power bi will work guys i think i have covered everything which has been as an interface for this uh, power bi like uh, i don't think like uh, like without importing the data it is very hard for me also for explaining everything like if i import the data it will be very very hard for you to understand because how like how i am turning this thing like it will be very hard so that only i have made this tutorial video as a basic like a interface of this uh, power bi desktop okay so later on we will see like how to import the data how and how we can create various visualization okay so thanks for watching guys so if you want more videos related power bi or any kind of visualization software or if you have any doubts based on this power bi you can comment below and uh, like if i am if i am not responding those comments you can directly mail me like i have attached my mail on this uh, channel info okay guys if we will see in next video until then bye